Hello there and welcome to the video. Well, I think we have perhaps the game of the World Cup so far. For me, this is the game of the tournament, by far. Uh, I really like the game in the first round. Be where her, uh, what's his name? Salinas Herrera, where he beat Mats Andersen. Very nice, where he sacrificed his queen uh, on three consecutive moves. I will link that in the card and in the comments. You can check that out. Very nice game, but this one is brutal. With the white pieces, Baskaran Adiban, the Indian Hurricane. No, I'm just making that up. Ramirez Delgado with black. Ramirez Delgado uh, qualified after a long tiebreak yesterday. So will that affect his uh, stamina today? We'll see. We have the Nimso Indian Bishop B4. And Adiban, he plays F3. This is a very aggressive line. If you want to tackle the uh, Nimso Indian, this is a very interesting line to play and it can lead to uh, very active positions and attacks and spoiler alert we'll see that in this game at the d5 Adipan played a3 we have takes takes and uh, Ramirez Delgado wanted to play solidly here and he played c6 but Adipan was having none of that he wanted an active game so he played pawn to e4 a pawn sacrifice now the idea here is uh, well if you take uh, I'm going to bring my bishop up to d3 so if you don't take, I will play e5 and bring the bishop to d3. So black took, white took back, and black played e5. Now if white, uh, sorry, black takes the pawn, well it looks like he has some threats, queen h4 and stuff, but no, black is on the back foot. We're gonna play knight f3, bishop d3, castles. When the knight pulls back, we are going to play bishop g5. And all the white pieces will be attacking. It will be a beautiful attacking formation for white. And black will be lacking in development and uh, lacking defenders. So black preferred to play e5 here. And of course, Adiban brought out the knight, knight to f3. And black went here with queen to a5, putting pressure on c3. But that's easily fixed with bishop to d2. And now if you take on d4, I will simply uh, keep my center. Take back with a c-pawn. So black opted for knight takes e4 here, finally taking the pawn, but this looks dangerous, bishop d3, the knight is under attack, he decided to take on d2, and the queen took back. Now we're threatening to take on e5 with the knight, so black needs to do something. Maybe knight d7, but he went for e takes d4. But this leaves the black king a little bit vulnerable, and after castles, there aren't a lot of pieces defending. Uh, here. One game had reached this position and black played bishop e6 and he managed to win that game. Still, the computer prefers castles here. But maybe if you let it think a little bit longer, it might not because after knight to g5, the flood gate are opening. If you play a move like g6, I'll bring the last piece into the attack, rook uh, a to e1, then the queen to f4, and uh, just everything is. is pointing towards the king side. It's going to be really hard to defend here. So uh, Ramirez Delgado went for f5, trying to block the diagonal, hoping to survive here. But now uh, Adiban opened up uh, a new avenue of attack and threatened to play our favorite motif, which is what? Yep, you got it, smothered mate. So if black takes, on c5, it takes on c3 with the queen, or here with uh, the pawn in all cases. And let's just examine one of them. Queen takes c5, we play queen c2, check. Sorry, queen a2. And if queen here, we win the queen. King to the corner, we have to give up the rook because otherwise you get checkmated, the small mate. If you don't know this one, do check out my pattern recognition video of the checkmate pattern, small mate. I'll leave that in the card and the comments. So after c5, the threat of, of queen a2 forced black to play king h8 to get out of the threat. But now queen e2 and the queen is coming in. He wants to come to h5. And we see that black is really lacking defenders here. So he brought one in. Knight b7, the idea is to bring the knight to the defense. If queen h5, knight f6, and black might be okay. But here, Adiban had a pretty nice shot. 
Pretty nice tactical shot. Can you find it? If not, it's very similar to what happened in the game between Sigurjonsson and Stein. Another game I have covered on my channel and which I'll leave uh, a link to in the card and in the comments. So do check out these things if you want to improve in chess, you know, learn the patterns, see games with similar patterns. That's how we do improve and that's what, what, what my channel is for. So do check that out. And what did he play? If you found it, very well done indeed. Uh, Adivan took an h7. Beautiful stuff. Now, uh, if we take it, king takes h7, queen h5, and then bishop here. And this will end in mate because king back, queen h5. Checkmate. Bishop covering the square. So, after knight takes h7, uh, black took on c3. Looks crazy. I mean, we have this attack and you take a pawn on c3. But he wanted to open up the diagonal to take this pawn with check and try to bring the queen into the defense. So if knight takes f8, he was probably going to take on c5 and then f8 with the queen. And then try to defend because he has a bunch of pawns for the exchange. But Adipan was not interested in the exchange. He was interested in the king. So he played queen to h5. And we see the simple threat. Knight c5 or immediately knight f6, checkmate. It's checkmate in one actually. And that's the reason why Black can't bring the knight, because we'll simply take it and it's going to be mate. So we need defense. So first, queen takes e5, bringing the queen closer. But it's all in vain. Uh, like I said, big threat, so king g8 getting out of the discovery. But now bishop takes f5. Note that knight g5 now, Black can defend with knight g6. f6, sorry. So bishop takes f5, and now the threat is bishop e6. Again with mate. So queen d5 tries to cover, and now knight d5, queen h7 is threatened. What to do? Uh, well, not much, actually. And black went with uh, knight to f6. Uh, we can quickly examine. Well, if, if rook takes f5, that will end in mate pretty quickly. We play queen h7, rook takes, winning the queen. Uh, so black played knight f6. Attacking the queen, defending here. But one fatal flaw, which Adaban, of course, had seen, and he played queen h7. Absolutely brutal stuff. We have to take this, and actually black resigned here, because after he takes, bishop takes, check. This is all completely forced. We take the rook with check, and then this beautiful checkmate. So an absolutely brutal attack by uh, Pascal Nadiban, and he is ready for the World Cup, and it will be tough for... Ramirez Delgado to come back from this. Definitely the game of the tournament for me so far. Uh, tell me how you like the board. I had some comments where people were wanting me to spice up the board a little bit. Hopefully this was spicy enough for you. Let me know in the comments and let me know if you agree with me that this is the game of the tournament so far. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.